I have a third example of a class one problem right here. So class one problems are where the initial velocity in the y direction for a projectile is zero. It makes them very simple. Here we go. Water rushes over a waterfall at 0.86 meters per second and hits the ground 7.1 meters away from the base. So let's draw ourselves a picture of that. We got a purple cliff and there's water coming right here and it's hitting here and it's going wee in a parabola like that without that little womp right there. So this distance here is 7.1 meters and we know how fast it's going. V naught in the x direction equals 0 0.86 meters per second. I guess we need to figure out how high this is. And in English, we're not really sure whether a waterfall is singular or whether it's plural. So whatever, we'll just say that this delta y is what we're trying to find. Chances are delta y is gonna be a negative number, but we wanna report a positive number because they're asking us how high the falls are. So the water though is moving downward, but our answer is going to be just the absolute value of that so that we say, how high the falls are is, what, help? No, here's our equation. Our equation in the x direction says the velocity initial in the x direction is delta x over delta t. And we actually, wait a second, we know v naught in the x direction and we know delta x. So to figure out how, how the falls are, I'm, like, I'm an explorer. Personally, I like to take a problem and figure out what we can do about it. But maybe you guys are linear thinkers. In that case, you want to get an equation for delta y. Let's go to the, over here. For delta y, we've got a lot of equations. I'm just going to pick the classic and we'll talk about y later. Delta y, let's do this linearly. Delta y is the initial in the y direction times time plus one half acceleration in the y direction times time squared. Again, because it's a class one problem, we see this every time. The initial velocity in the y direction is zero, so the classic becomes a very simple equation, and we're left with simply, oh man, delta y, how high the falls are, it'll be the absolute value of that, but delta y is one half the acceleration in the y direction times time squared. So we'll just do that and take the absolute value. The only thing we don't know here, because this is negative 9.81 meters per second squared, is time. So in fact, we can go back to the x direction and say, hey, x direction, how you doing? Can we get that time? In fact, we can because we know the initial velocity in the x direction and we know delta x. So at the risk of completely destroying this problem, now let's just do it. We'll completely destroy this problem. And I'm going to no longer have a picture, but I'll have some places to write. And I will say, I'm going to solve this equation for delta t. Delta t is delta x divided by how fast we've been going in the x direction. And I have destroyed my problem, but I know that delta x, oh no, no, we're going to plug it all in. It's going to be so cool. Watch this. I'm going to say delta y now is one half a y. And instead of writing t, I'm going to write this thing as t. I'm going to plug it in to that equation right there, and I'm gonna have one half a y times delta x sucker squared divided by v naught in the x direction sucker squared. I can put those in parentheses and score them just like that. Let's do it. Delta y is, wait for it, one half. I'm gonna put in a 0.5, and then I'm gonna multiply it by negative 9.81 meters per second squared, and then I'm gonna multiply that by open parentheses because we need to do some division. The delta x, I think our delta x was supposed to be 7.1 meters, and then I'll divide it by the initial velocity in the x direction, which was 0.86 meters, and I will close my parentheses, and I will score that quantity. And then I'm gonna write the answer down. You ready? Delta Y, that's how high the cliff is. Ding, that is a high waterfall. Probably not realistic. Sorry, I screwed up this one here. This is negative 334 meters. Whoa, but we only want two sig figs and we want the positive answer. So I write cliff is 330 meters tall. That's what's up.